Alright guys, so I'm showing you today how to set up a MIDI device um, in GarageBand. There's not a lot of options in GarageBand, so it's actually pretty easy to do because they don't really want you to have a lot of options to set things up because it's kind of a cheap program and actually it was free for me because I've had a Mac for a while now. Um, so, you just got to make sure your device is plugged in and on. That's all you need to do right now. And once that is set, you want to go to GarageBand at the top preferences and then you don't want to go to it's gonna start at general you want to go to audio slash audio slash midi and you're gonna hit reset midi drivers just in case and that'll make sure that this number changes and it actually recognizes your device i'm actually using just a keyboard right now so as you see it had a little pop-up here saying all devices are available and not all those devices have um have an actual device on it but it's actually basically just gonna be all of the um all the ports because I have seven ports in total and so it's telling me yeah you have seven ports so yeah oh sorry um so now what you want to do is just make a, a new track and we'll make it make sure it's a software instrument because you can only play it with a software instrument obviously and as you can see look right here you can see I'm just hitting the keys and it's typing uh, I turn off my sound though so you obviously can't hear it but yeah so that's really all you have to do actually just make sure it's plugged in and hit the reset driver and then you can now play. You can't play on these because these are different. I think I already set them up. I think it's the issue. I think you could actually play drums. You can play drums too, as you can see. You can't play some of these though. It kind of depends. I think it's just because I've had these set up before I actually put in a MIDI device. But yeah, as you can see, it's pretty easy. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh,